Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Black Mirror 2. I thought we were out. It's kind of like the mob. Just as soon as you think you're out, you, they pull you back in. So either Lewis, Bates, or Sally is trying to murder me and has been trying to murder me this whole time. So I'm going to go through the door and talk to Sally. Sally was supposed to go with Lewis and get travel tickets. Um... Sally's not here, so that leaves a good chance that that she is the, the one who has been trying to bring me and my blood to the, uh, to the black mirror chamber under the house, I assume. That's what she's trying to do there. So if Sally's not here, the the truth is, I should just start walking. Like, I should just walk out of this place, get on a train, leave, get as far away from this castle as possible. If there really is a thought that the castle is going to is driving me crazy. I think the truth is, if I'm crazy, it's genetic. My god, Sally! Okay, Sally's dead. She... she's dead. Oh, come on. Think, Darren. Bates may have well told her to sort out the tickets. The unknown antagonist then murdered her before she could reach Lewis. That means all three of them could be innocent. Or better yet, Anyone in the castle could still be after me. Yeah, well, hmm. apart from Sally. She's the she could have been in on it. Getting in someone's way. So, that is quite gruesome. What killed her? That's... Powder, makeup, and so on. Nothing of any use to me. Let's take our camera out, take some pictures of Sally for the unlocking of the extras. Honestly, I think you, you're better off just not trying to unlock any of the extras and then getting a 100% save file offline, uh, online. Just save yourself some frustration there. So there must be something in the cupboard because we've been able to open it this whole time. A pile of towels. Small ones, big ones, nothing but towels. This feels like this has turned into a joke. I'll never be able to look in the mirror again without a shiver running down my spine. So I wonder... That is so comfortable. Hmm. A bench in a bathroom. Like everything Jeez. has just reset. I wonder if there's a like a lion's head. reason. I think the lion that... was a symbol of immortality in ancient times. <laughs> What's that gotta do with a bathtub? That's kind of ironic. Like, if the ghost was helping me, they clearly want me to do something. The water is boiling hot. How do you get boiling hot water? The water is boiling hot. So maybe you could. It's running. I don't know. Maybe we're trying to close the window and steam up the win mir mirror window. I guess maybe in an old castle you could change the settings uh, in the basement for the water heater and kill somebody. But somebody's gonna stick. You're gonna either feel the heat off of it or, or stick your finger in it. You're not going to throw your whole body into the water. And So somebody would have still had to push Sally in here to scald her body like this. Alright, what are our hot spots here? 
Now in the first game, I believe there was a section where we searched a body. And we faces several swollen. different sections. It looks as though she's been scalded. Oh, disgusting. Some bastard forced her face under the water. She either drowned or she died of shock. Yeah, and that's kind of hard to, to yeah. happen. Is she pointing to something? What could she have been pointing to? Hmm. Was something reflected there? I don't understand it. Alright, so she's gonna point to something later on. Let's back up. We've got curtains, chandelier. A chandelier in a bathroom. Madness. Lots of roofs, alcoves, walls. I wonder how many rooms the castle has. You could easily hide Mom's little house in one of the wings. Hey, right, that's kind of an ironic statement since it turns out my real mother was the window is open in here. But no one could have climbed in here. It'd be quite difficult to climb up the facade. The point is to close the window and fog the place up. You can see it's getting foggier now. And we can look at the mirror again. I'll never be able to look in the mirror again without a shiver running down my spine. The water is boiling hot. Alright, and back to Sally. And that should be good enough now. There really is something written on the tiles. A bee. Like Bates. That must mean that Bates isn't the murderer. I mean, how could Sally have written a bee on the tiles? And when? As her head was being held underwater and she was frantically fighting for her life? Or after the shock caused her untimely death? I'm not gonna make it that easy for you. You're gonna have to be a bit more creative to throw me off the set. Hmm. Does anybody else Bates is have the one a I name? Trust the most. It seems the murderer wanted to keep me away from him. Like, I'll never be able to look in the mirror again without a shiver running down my spine. I don't think there's anything else to do here. I have to talk to Bates. The killer wanted me to suspect the butler, but his misguided message only achieved the opposite. Hmm. Unless you, of course, strangled her or killed oh, her in no. some way, other way. The castle is burning. Is it really? Up to the corridor. I can't get out that way without protection. I'd be engulfed in the flames. That's odd. Finally, we get to use the towels. Okay, okay, think, Darren. Uh, towels. Some of them are huge. I'll take uh, one of the very big ones. Hmm. Now soak it in water. Excellent. It's dripping wet. Now we run out in the corner with water all around okay, us. Okay, Darren. Take a deep breath and go for it. <coughs> I... Let's go to Bates' room and get the oxygen. I chose poorly, apparently. Thank goodness the game auto saves. So, out the front door, I guess. We can see a ghost. Ghosts chasing each other. Running to the library.
Bates, can you hear Seems me? like it doesn't even matter Baby who tried man, to kill me. My boy, it's all over. <laughs> of course, it was just the last recording I was suggesting they should have burnt down Black Mirror oh 24 worry, years ago. I'll get you out of here. No. I've spent my whole life in this castle, and I want to die here. But... You... Listen, boy. This castle drove your father and his father before him to disaster. Don't let it corrupt you, too. Defend yourself against it. How should I defend myself against it? Get away from here. And don't ever come back. <laughs> you have a life in New England waiting for you. A good life, even if you don't see it like that. Run, Darren Michaels. Run mm. and don't ever look. So now the kill count should be at five, which was the five that were needed in the first game to unlock the Black Mirror magic portal. Okay, I'll go, but not before I found Angelina's murderer. Just go, just get out of here. So once again, I guess it can't, ah, there you are. can't be anything. I was starting to worry I'd started the fire too soon. Black Mirror 3, not set in the what? future, clearly. It was you? You killed Angelina and the others? You set fire to the castle and imprisoned me? I started the fire, yes. And I locked you in the bunker. But I'm no murderer. So don't force me to be one. What is all this? What do you want? This is no time for long explanations. The car's waiting. We're going on a little trip. Who's talking right now? I can't see him. It's the gardener, Lewis. All right then, Lewis. What have you got to do with the Gordons? Why are you chasing this illusion? I'm not interested in the curse. He's only after the money. That... That's impossible! Hello, dear brother. So, you still haven't worked it out. What? What are you doing? I'm fulfilling my destiny. I will evoke Mordred's power and use it for my own purposes. And Boris? And Sally? And my adoptive mother? She guessed who I was when I was standing at her door. She wanted to warn the Order. I couldn't allow that. She banged her head on the side table. I thought she was dead. So, yeah, we could be close to the end. Angelina was the bad girl, after all. Uh, we kind of have been hinted at that somewhere around Chapter 4. And then there was kind of a fake out when she faked her death. But I still figured she might be alive and doing this. It's pretty cliche writing. What's this all about? What, what do you want from me? I cannot enter the academy nor the summoning chamber without the blood of a male Gordon. Yeah, it was pretty obvious when they said male Gordon too. When I had to acknowledge that Richard's blood wouldn't do. And my delight when I found you. And the whole time you never knew about me? No. Our mother and the others kept the secret very well hidden. But then I found some writings which told me everything. Hmm. I came to Bidifer to wrap you around my little finger. And it worked well. I knew that we were bonded by something. And that you'd do anything for me. This is kind of one of those Star Wars moments in episode four where, where I half would, would have kind of enjoyed if she actually had slept with him in act one, even knowing he was his brother, to show just how evil she is right now. Uh, 
Uh, of course, this also begs the question, why not send both of them to Biddleford with new identities? Then this would have never happened in the first place. She wouldn't, Angelina would have never known about Black Mirror Castle or Mordred and the curse or any of that. What was all that with Reginald Boris? The Order put him on my back, as I found out shortly after your mother's accident. Boris wanted to sideline me by putting me in the frame for Fuller's murder. My plan was to take you back with me to England. But as long as Boris was around, I was worried that he'd tell you all about me. So I flew back to England and called you up. And just as I expected, you turned up here like a shining hero to rescue me. It's weird they're using guns now. We've not really done a lot with guns up until this point. Hmm. So she's not. She didn't directly say she killed Boris, though. Uh, she didn't also directly say that she killed Fuller. So there's still a decent chance that I am killing everybody. <laughs> and your death? Who had to die for you? The good Miss Valley built the order back up again. After there had been no sign of it for almost a hundred years. No wonder that she hung around there so much. Samuel, our father, killed her little brother Vic. I had to protect myself from her. So you murdered her in cold blood and set her on fire. And killed two birds with one stone. No pun intended. The Order lost its leader and everyone thought I was dead to boot. All I had to do was forge my diary entries and lure you into the castle. Yeah, this is not really interesting reveals. It's not really a twist. Uh, much like the first game where I had pretty much figured there was at least a 60% chance that Samuel Gordon was the killer. Uh, I had pretty much figured there was at least a 60% chance that Angelina Gordon had been the killer. Uh, let me propose, if it was the stuttering, mentally deficient brother of Tom that was the killer. And it, that was a facade. Or if it was the crazy guy who said you were the devil that you saw a couple of times in the city. And that was something. Or if it was Ralph. Or if it was the police officer from from Biddleford. Or the, the doctor from Biddleford. There are several characters that were introduced that could be surprising, amazing twists. Angelina is not one of them. Wasn't that a big risk? Sending me into the castle? Of course. But what choice did I have? I couldn't go myself, and Lewis had proven himself to be incapable. If anyone could fire the mosaic tires, it was you. I guessed that you'd found out about our secret. But we always had a plan B for that eventuality. Set fire to the castle and kill everyone in it? How'd you arrive at that? Mom? Now, get in there. Stand there, Mother. Why was it necessary to bring Listen, Mother? Angelina. Shut it. Lewis, guard the door. Make sure that no one gets in or out. And you? Let me guess. I've got to open the door. Correct. Put the pieces in place. So... This is a almost straight ripoff of Indiana Jones and the uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Let's see. Just see if we need to take any pictures of anything. Nope. We could try and talk. I've got nothing to say to that pig. We can just talk to everybody. Listen. I don't think we've got anything to talk about. Hmm. You kidding? I... That means I'm not interested in having a chat. Don't worry, Mom. I'll get us out of here. Shut up. You should be worrying about making some progress here. Okay, first mosaic tile, second mosaic tile, third mosaic tile. Get them all in there. Solve the puzzle. The tile fits exactly into one of the grooves. Um, looking at all of this, the second tile fits too. We lost our picture of Angelina. 
in the inventory. And we've got the room key for no reason, the folder, diary, picture, medallion. Seems like it's just a random assortment of stuff. Okay, all the tiles are in place. So it feels like this is the end. There are three grooves in the stone plinth. Very narrow, but a few inches deep. There are three grooves in the stone plinth. Very narrow, but a few inches deep. Um, is that all I had to do? Can I you just open, open the, the gate? gate? using the stone discs. I don't know how exactly. I assume we're going to need... Need to maybe take the candle and redirect the light on it. That's strange. The candle on the plinth is burning. Who lit it? Hmm. Completely normal candle, just quietly burning away. There you go, burn my mother, burn Angelina, burn Lo Lois. Like, we've got stuff, certainly, but none of it seems to interact with anything. There's an oil lamp. Guess that's what we needed. Hmm. There's a candle with the oil lamp. Now we have a lit oil lamp. The oil lamp's lit. I don't need the candle anymore. Like, what a pathetic point and click inv inventory puzzle. Uh, pick up the candle that happens to be there, use it on the oil lamp for the most basic, obvious, standard reasons you'd use those two items. Nothing innovative, nothing ingenious, nothing funny there. There has to be something about the lion head in the flare. Maybe I can press it. I don't think so. Cut open your hand on the wall. You want me to... Do it! Don't do it, Darren. You mustn't open the gate for her. I'll count to three. I don't even have three. a knife. Stop! All right. We lost that I'll in our it. inventory. So how is he gonna cut his hand open? To pick up some sharp rock or something? What did he just do in the corner? That's it! Come on, get in there! Impressive. This is a different area than the first game, at least so far. It looks like it's been a real long time since anyone has been in here. This is just the beginning. I can feel the power. Mordred is here. Very close. <sighs> Crap. The Academy's builder picked eight chosen ones who guard over the power. The gate should only be opened when all eight are standing on these stone slabs. Otherwise, death will follow. So it says in the old writings. Oh well, I guess we can forget that. There's just four of us. Don't be stupid. You'll think of something, dear brother. She's completely nuts. It's no good. <laughs> It seems like each of the eight slabs has to be loaded with weight. But what if one of the eight chosen ones suddenly and irreplaceably dies? They must have taken some precautions against that happening. I better take a look around. We had a... We had a weight to unlock the door puzzle. Way, way long time ago. In Fuller's basement. Uh, a total of we never really got anywhere with that blackmail floor. scandal Let's either. See. Either I guess that we just assumed he was blackmailing people. That wasn't so great. 
So it seems like there's puzzles. They're gargoyles or demons. Maybe even the devil. I've got no idea, and I'm not interested. And holes. I'm kind of surprised that didn't kill there me. There are holes in the wall there. Must surely be for some cunning trap. Hmm. A heavy metal lattice gate. It doesn't look like it's easy to open. So do we look at everything? No, there's a whole, whole bunch more to do. A heavy metal lattice gate. It doesn't look like it's easy to open. So there's note paper. There's a note lying here. There's a semicircle drawn on the note. It's made up of eight different symbols. I reckon that this is some kind of a user manual for the floor slabs. There's a knife or something drawn on the third tile from the left. Also, there's a flower on the outer left one. The, the left hand middle one has a sun. The, the right hand middle one has water. And the outer right one is a snowflake. So many symbols seem like they are extremely similar to, uh, to the puzzle before the stone door looks pretty heavy I don't think I'll be able to open it that easily so we've got all of these things let's see if we've got any red arrow I seriously doubt it would it would be you get a picture of the gate Well, Very lovely now, thing. Darren really never got the, the story about Mordred or how evil he was. So, it sort of explains why they he wouldn't just say, shoot me now, I don't, I don't care. But, uh, honestly, I think he probably, even with his level of information, should say, just shoot me now, I'm not going to help you, Angelina. There's a semicircle drawn on the note. It's made up of eight different symbols. I reckon that this is some kind of a user manual for the floor slabs. There's a knife or something drawn on the third tile from the left. Third also, the left. there's a flower on the outer left one. Uh, the left hand middle one has a sun. Uh, the, the right hand middle one has water. And the outer right one is a snowflake. I don't know. And can I skip this puzzle, or, or what? Because I, I kind of, oh! I kind of be cool with just skipping this. Like, Let's see if we can talk to some people. Angelina? What is it? I guess we're gonna have to have some conversations. Because I, I don't I don't have a clue what what the solution is. You have to stand on one of the stone slabs. So I can then get a knife in my ribs. I don't think so. The stone slabs are connected to the grate. If you don't stand on them, I can't open the grate. Then she should stand on it. Where should she go? Okay, I can't tell her. What yeah. do you want from me exactly? You still don't get it. If I got one stupid brother or what? Open the grate. You only have to press on all of the stone slabs. <laughs> on my own. How am I supposed to do that? You'll think of something. She's certainly not being helpful. How about some breadcrumbs? That won't work. What camera? That won't work. 
That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. My poor mother is completely terrified. She's reliving the horror with Samuel all over again. With her own daughter. I've got nothing to say to that pig. Let's just look around and double check. I heard right middle one. I heard left middle one. I heard far right. Let's just... I guess I'll have to look at this again and think about what the symbolism could mean. There's a semicircle drawn on the note. It's made up of eight different symbols. I reckon that this is some kind of a user manual for the floor slabs. There's a knife or something drawn on the third tile from the left. Third from the Also, left. there's a flower on the outer left one. Uh, the left hand middle one has a sun. And the, the right hand middle one has water. And the outer right one is a snowflake. Now the right one snowflake. Let's try it. Oh! <laughs> nope. Third from the left. I guess maybe they mean this one, but that's not the third from the left. Be the fourth from the left. Oh! And this feels exactly like the section in Black Mirror 1 where we're just killing the... Uh, getting killed by the wolf over and over again. Did we try this one? Okay. Very carefully now. Okay. So, safety save. Assuming that there's no repeating ones. The third from the left, and then. The middle left one? Oh! Nope. No explanation here if, if that was... If, uh, like... If it resets or anything. Let's see. There's a semicircle drawn on the note. It's made up of eight different symbols. This one works. I reckon that this is some kind of a user manual for the floor slabs. This is just a There's waste a of knife time. There's a or something drawn on the third tile from the left. Also, there's a flower on the outer left one. Flower? The left hand middle one has a sun. Sun. And the, the right hand middle one has water. And the outer right one is a snowflake. Okay. So we did this one, I think, then this one, then this one, then this one, and this one. I guess. Oh! I guess not. The game has been absolutely awful about explaining itself. Absolutely awful. That one wasn't mentioned. So we found one that seems to be okay. Um, let's talk to her mother and have her stand on this one. Uh, Mom? Yes, Adrian? Stone slab for the left door. Please stand on that stone slab. If you say so. 
Hmm. And it really only leaves this one and this one as far as ones that would open the other doors. Meanwhile, let's go in here and see if we get shot or get told we can't go this way. It's a completely different room with a completely different puzzle. We've got water. There's water here. The light can only penetrate a few feet down. It might be ten feet deep. It might be a hundred feet deep. I feel like I would have wanted a lot a more of this game in this demon underground or, the, or perhaps a mythical creature. Place. People in medieval times were very superstitious. For them, nature was full of spirits, demons, and miracles. There was no other way to explain what was going on around them. Yeah, if we had, say, in the, the whales manner, gone into the crypt and ended up in a place like this and done several puzzles, that would have been a lot better than just kind of random lockpicking mini games and other puzzles that were out of place I I believe that there would be There's puzzles some kind of mechanism fitted uh, here lots of symbols <laughs> what a surprise hmm. I have panels of text I feel like I'm gonna burn it through all this here, dress of green and hat of white all would agree a welcome sight with bells that in the wind do swing heralding the start of spring we're getting all kinds of dialogue and more quests On to this do this panel is written make things harder make things softer make a rich man make a papa not too close but love me true too close and I'll devour you that one didn't make any sense there's a rhyme on the panel sails I have but sail I don't at least not on the sea but round and round and up and down working hard for thee grinding up with my back teeth producing as I said the main ingredient which you need to make your daily bread. So it feels like I can freeze the water or boil the water using this statue. Here's written, in the air it flies, on the ground it lies. It adorns the trees, makes old men wheeze, on the stove it melts, from gray skies it pelts. And yeah. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. You're done. So. Um. Snow is one of the things. I don't know how you get any of this to work. Seems like this is the one correct thing and then everything else is going to get thrown out. So this is the last one you'd want to do. This is the second to last one. This is the first one we'd want. Fire, uh, fire for this one, hopefully, and either this flower or this flower or butterfly, I'm not even sure. This one. Let's see. What's that supposed to be? I 
And honestly, if, if this is just going to let me skip it, I would skip it. Like, I would totally skip this in a second. Not sure which one this one's supposed to be. But I'm fairly certain this one's supposed to be snow. Whatever. I I could certainly figure this out and solve it, but this game is just not worth doing the puzzles in. Skip them. That's it. See, I thought it was going to be a more simple puzzle where I was going to cause fire or ice to fall out of this demon's mouth. And because of that, it was going to have us do something. Seems like there's all kinds of stone compartments. This box is empty. Hmm. We've got one thing. We've got two things. We've got three things. Hmm. Ornate staff, and unless we were supposed to use the ornate staff, like I don't think I'd be able to even use it on the water. So, yeah, these are like soul keys, I guess. Let's look here, what were we supposed to do? Look for Sally. We found Sally without any help. Open the entrance to the academy. We did that without any help. Open the gate to summoning chamber. Uh, Angela is lackey. Before I can overpower Angela, I first need to get rid of Lewis, and for that I need a plan. If I found, uh, if I had had four of the slabs. Theoretically, Mom, Angela, and me, of course, Luce would have to stand on the other four. Perhaps I could use that fact to... that there's no... bar for Arden to my advantage. Hmm. Symbols everywhere. Put weight on the slabs. Date stone slabs. Hmm. Hmm. This opened the door. Hey, now that I look at this in the inventory. So you really would have had to look in the diary. Um, that would make more sense. And I guess I'm supposed to put these other keys specifically on these spots. Uh, these, of course, are kill spots. Um, Alright. How much is left here? So. Where is, where is Lewis? He's sitting, sitting down off his guard. section and open this door and go see what this puzzle's about and probably skip uh, that one too mom yes Adrian would you please stand on the stone slab right there hmm. is is it safe yes trust me oh, hmm. all right then <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, unless this room is completely and completely empty, we're gonna have another puzzle. And probably another puzzle. And probably extremely long credits. And my guess is several more things. What in the world is this? This looks like a laboratory or traps or heavy weights or all kinds of things here all kinds of control mechanisms oh I guess what this is is we somehow made it to the roof and we can see uh, Angelina here and we can see a heavy weight there so if everybody is standing in the right place, maybe this heavy weight falls down and kills Angelina. But then that would be another nasty thing that Darren would do. And then the question becomes how good really is Darren in the first place? For perhaps the last time, this is the... Uh, this I'm going to save again and end this recording. Uh, decent chance it certainly feels like we could be done in the next recording. However, I probably would have been willing to say that in several positions over the course of the past, what I assume has been 30 hours of gameplay. Like This game just goes in random directions. It, it feels like the, the narrative, the storyline is not written well enough that I could even get a feel of when it's going to end. Uh, good stories, you would have that falling action and a build up to the final finale uh, of a game, finale of a game or a story here. It could end in like two seconds. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me even further, I'm asking people to friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wish list. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.